We all know that he's going to get through it. He's strong. Our other top story tonight, a community is rallying around a Brownsburg high school football player who was critically hurt in a car crash. Police now say they suspect speed was a factor in that crash, which left a total of three teenagers injured. One of them tonight is still in a medically induced coma. Our Emily Longnecker joins us live at Methodist Hospital, where that teen is tonight. She spoke with his friends and his teammates about his road to recovery. Emily. Well, Ann and Jenny, he should be getting ready for a big football game set for this Friday. Instead, 18-year-old Matt Turk is fighting for his life in critical condition here tonight at Methodist Hospital. His teammates say number eight defensive back Matt Turk is a fighter on the football field for the Bulldogs. It makes huge plays for us on uh, special teams. This Friday, though, Turk's team will have to make the plays without him at sectionals. Turk's got a bigger fight on his hands. One where his life and recovery following a car crash hang in the balance. I was devastated to hear it, but, you know, right now, um, he would want us to focus on this game right now, and he would want us to go push on forward and hopefully get a win. Investigators say Turk was a backseat passenger in a car that crashed early Sunday morning along County Road 500 North near Brownsburg. Police believe a 17-year-old who was driving lost control and hit a tree. That driver and another teen in the front seat were injured but wearing seat belts. Turk was not. Investigators believe speed was a factor in the crash. <laughs> Ashley Nicholas is still coming to grips with her boyfriend's injuries. The two have been together for three years. Yeah, it would be weird watching the game and him not playing. Nicholas has already been at Turk's bedside. I just got to stay with him alone and it was just, yeah. The emotion Nicholas is feeling is shared by many students who call the high school senior a friend. Well, Matt's definitely a great person. He's always there for me every time I have any problems and he always keeps me up. Now it's Turk's teammates and friends who are keeping each other up, hoping their friend pulls through. We always talk about being a family, but this is the time we actually can be become a family and uh, show Matt our love and support and keep him in our prayers. And even if Matt Turk won't be with his team on Friday, he will be close to them. The team will be wearing decals on their helmets that say Matt Turk strong and the number eight. His family continues to ask for prayers tonight, tweeting out that they still believe in the power of prayer. Jenny.